Faded Tobacco Flame. Please don't compare it to an Epiphone. Les Paul. It just does not feel like an Epiphone, Les Paul.
Harley Benton SC550 tobacco flame burst whatever they call it check it out this actually belongs to a friend of mine and he's let me play it for a little while he's actually wanting me to try some new put some new pickups in for him so I'm gonna do that but before I do that I wanted to make a little video of me enjoying it and it's pretty much natural state he's changed the tone knobs but I mean that's all he's done um, this is a beautiful guitar there's no doubt about it I mean you could see that for yourself um, this has the Wilkinson pickups which I don't think they come with anymore I think it's Roswell um, this guitar, guitar, obviously it's beautiful, no doubt about that. It plays well in the sense that there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, the frets all seem uh, good. Um, nothing sticking out weird. No frets sticking up. No real buzzing. Nothing to speak of. Um, the only thing about this guitar that I don't like is that I've heard so many people um, relate this to compare this to uh, Epiphone Les Pauls especially the higher end ones and the neck when playing it doesn't feel anything like <laughs> an Epiphone Les Paul it just to me it just something about it throws me off I th it feels longer for some reason and it doesn't feel the same kind of thickness and shape uh, but I'm not saying that's wrong I'm just saying it's different so if you're buying this thinking that you're getting something that's really gonna be comparative to a Epiphone or Gibson Les Paul you're gonna be um, disappointed because it just doesn't feel like that now it may look like it but it doesn't feel like one of those but that's not bad it just has its own kind of taste to it and to be honest I had to play with it for a little while to jam on it to really start to enjoy it for what it is instead of what I expected it to be and uh, it's different but it's still a good guitar and especially for the $250 price that it comes with it's heavy this is, I'm sure, a mahogany body. It feels like you could use this over somebody's head and kill them. <laughs> Don't do that. But, I mean, this just feels like a heavy, good guitar. And um, it is. For $250, this is a great guitar. I'm not super in love with the pickups. Um, you know, in my opinion, this looks like a blues, regular rock kind of st style guitar. And I think it does better for metal than it does blues. I think it sounds better for metal. So, you know, I have an SC uh, Custom here, which you would think is more metal looking, but I think it plays blues and kind of that style cleaner type less distortion. I think it sounds better than this. It's my opinion. And uh, this has the old Wilkinson pickups too. One thing I noticed the difference in these things. Now this to me feels more like a Epiphone Les Paul than this does. And I don't think the length of the neck is any different. But I do notice like right here. I don't know if you see my thumb and my finger moving. Woo! Um, this goes up on the SC Custom. Well this kind of points down so you get more neck. 
here. I don't know if it makes that big of a deal, but there is a difference in how both of these feel. And uh, But anyway, I think for like a lot of distortion type sounds, this is a great guitar. I think it sounded awesome. As is. No changes, no mods. As is. So if you're wanting something like this to, you know, really tear it up metal-wise, hard rock-wise, right here you go. If you love that, the way this body looks for that kind of music, now right, here's your guitar. Other than that, you know, if you're wanting blues, this because this definitely looks like it could fit in blues music. And I love blues music, so, I mean... This definitely could work, but um, yeah, we'll change the pickups. And that's what actually my buddies want me to do. So I'm going to make another video here soon with different kind of pickups in this. And we'll see how this sounds with those. So, but anyway, this is John at Still Living the Blues looking at the beautiful and amazing in itself. And you're doing it a disservice, I think, if you're comparing it to an Epiphone. Les Paul, but the amazing Harley Benton SC550. It's $250 around there, and it's really in itself a great guitar. Don't compare it to anything else, really. I know the shape's close to it. It's that Les Paul shape, which, you know, you can say that, but just don't compare it to an Epiphone. Please don't compare it to an Epiphone. Les Paul. Please don't compare it to an Epiphone. Yeah. Um.